All right, let's get caught up to speed. We are in Jerusalem. It took us about um, 30 hours to get here yesterday after several delays, canceled flights, bad planes, do not fly Austrian Airlines. Uh, so we are in the middle of Jerusalem. It's very pretty, very old architecture. And we are going to Yad Vashem today, the Holocaust Museum, and we're also going to see the Dead Sea Scrolls, get some lunch, uh, probably take a stroll down in the old city and check out, check out some of the old architecture and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we are officially in Israel. Hi, Hi. we're in Israel. So for the travel vlog, first we had to wrestle for a taxi driver to give us a meter, now this guy's getting out to Currently regulate a uh, traffic accident that's happened here. So. Man of many talents. Yeah, this is an interesting trip. to the old town in Jerusalem and the streets are extraordinarily empty for a Friday because it happens to be both the, what is it? The it's, double holiday. It's the double first holiday. night of, first Friday night of Ramadan okay. and it's also Shabbat. So you get both the, the Jews and the Muslims are off doing religious stuff today so everything is pretty much shut down. Normally these streets, even earlier today when we were walking around, were very bustling. But uh, it's empty right now, man. It's pretty, it's actually kind of cool to see the city this way, I'm not gonna lie. So something I've noticed is just the general attention to aesthetics. These are little benches at a bus stop and they're just, they're cool. They're like very artistic. All of the architecture and infrastructure is very beautiful. Okay. <laughs> And uh, it's just a really fucking pretty city, man. So here we are coming to the outside walls of the old city of Jerusalem. And we're heading for which gate? The Damascus Gate. So you can see off in the distance here the border of the wall sprawling out through the city. The uh, kind of cathedral tops out there. Uh, uh, yeah, that looks familiar. All right, uh, we have just come through the Damascus Gate into the old city. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say these bagels are dank. Is the first Just do it that way you have the joke. Yeah, yeah. Again, I'm not a bushy man. I hate giving you a heart. Right? Like well, I am not. Yeah. I can already tell you that. Just because I love one. Not about wearing. Oh. Take a look at me. 
This is the lady of pain. Like, I, I see her on the this lady, that looks great. this You're lady now, and then I she, in this like, today, in this yeah. moment we are talking, me and you, mm -hmm. she is wearing, she yeah, have really one hair more than 140,000 really, American like dollars. Hat, shawl, so dress, bracelet, earrings. She have one hair more than 140,000 American dollars. This is the same uh, yes. that, that you have in here. I think you look pretty liberal to me. I gotta keep up with my wife. She just, she just, she keeps me This market just goes on. I mean, in, in general, he's the candy fiend, but gummies in particular are his weakness. And, you know, they have those, like, spice carts. This is, this is Carrie's spice cart. <laughs> Two in Jerusalem. Uh, we just got done looking at the church of John the Baptist and went to some uh, water spring down here. I don't know, like 2,000 year old aqueduct fed water spring that apparently Jesus and his homies used to splash and play around. So that's pretty cool. And uh, at the moment, we can see Janie and the others clamoring for shade. 
because it is approximately very fucking hot degrees outside right now. And, uh, but unlike Miami, if you get in the shade, it's actually kind of cool. So that's nice. So we just wrapped up a day in Old City, Jerusalem. We toured the 14 stations of the cross, went to the Church of the Holy Specular, Specular uh, whatever that, it's the most important church. Uh, we saw King David's tomb. We saw the room where they had Last Supper. Um, we saw a lot of really holy stuff today. But the other half of the day we spent plugging around in the market in the old city, which is uh, very interesting. So we have an emergency situation at the local Italian restaurant in Jerusalem. Um, we're locked in and we can't get out. And there's a whole lot of people who aren't trying to leave yet. This isn't a really big problem yet, but it could be. And, and these poor folks are trying to get in. And we're kind of sitting here laughing. <laughs> and we've been asking for the breakfast menu. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on, but we're this is not this is not good. <laughs> Alright, we saw the Dead Sea. It's there. It's cool. Let's go.
So we have arrived at the border terminal between Israel and Jordan, and we're going to go through customs now to cross the border into Jordan. This is interesting. And also all we can do is have a wooden door with wall. And also from inside the cave, when you go, you feel uh, a fresh weather. And you know, in the winter time, it feels uh, uh, warm weather inside. <laughs> wow. Maybe. Thank you. 
see all the theaters in the form of half circle. Who can tell me what's the reason? For acoustics. Thank you. Can you hear? Yeah. And also because that will help everyone to see the stage from every different area. So Janie, what are we doing? Um, right now we are taking a little break and okay, and we <laughs> we're in Petra. We have been um, kind of exploring all the caves and all the little areas around Petra because it's not just the main treasury, which is what you normally see in the pictures when you look up Petra. And it's really exciting. It's really cool. So tell me a, a little bit about the uh, the male attention you've been receiving here. Well, um, on the first day, somebody asked, somebody offered three camels for me. Um, and then we also were walking and they were like, excuse me, can I see a smile? Which is actually like the, the sweetest cat call I've ever had. Like it was, it wasn't that bad. It's okay. I think you're, you're shooting about 90% of like guys you walk past or are like saying something to you. It's well, pretty funny. It's a good confidence booster. Like, it's all right. <laughs> where's, your, where's your veil, baby? Oh God. <laughs> So this is the remote Wi-Fi setup that this gentleman has here at his shop out in Petra. He has solar panels up on the roof, which charge some large, uh, looks like they're in parallel car batteries. He's got a voltage controller there. Really ingenious setup to uh, get internet where you otherwise would not be able to have it. We took a quick pit stop on the way out through the Wadi Rum Desert to check out these historical train cars that date back to like the 19 teens. These things used to truck supplies and soldiers from the Ottoman Empire in and out of this region of Jordan. This is pretty surreal seeing these ancient cars literally just totally out in the middle of the desert like this. Unfortunately, before like uh, three, four months, it was opening. That's the royal one. For people, they can go to visit. But uh, we have, you know, a lot of tourists, they not respect the rules. And even for the other people, they come inside, and they came in this one, and they destroy it. Oh, which is wow. really, the, the seats and everything inside, it's from the old time. Right. Yeah, I don't know why. That's why they close it. They don't let anyone to come. So we got extremely lucky. And uh, this gentleman here, offer to let us into the engine car so we're gonna take a look There's our off-roading chariot, and we are at some spectacular canyon right now.
<laughs> Adrenaline is taking over. Let's go. We have just arrived in our little awesome bubble tent. Bubble tent. We have full view of desert sky and landscape. Air conditioning right over a nice bed. And we have shower. <laughs> There's even a little skylight over the shower in here. This is fucking awesome, man. All right. And now we are Heading out to our sunset Jeep tour. No time to waste. So we've got a little cleaning room that we come through here. We have our own little deck. And a little sunset deck out here. That is badass. So we are staying in Mars 10. I'm not sure which tent Matt Damon is in, but we'll locate him. So we are chasing daylight right now, no. attempting to catch the sunset over Wadi Rum. I think once we get out past this next ridge line here, we'll have a shot at the sun. Fingers crossed. So we are riding camels through the Wadi Rum Desert. You gotta move with the camel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, luckily it is nicely overcast and so the sun's not feeding down on us. <laughs> but we've got about a one mile trek, one mile, one hour trek oh, so you have your GoPro on video from the camel camp back into the uh, 
uh, village of Wadi Rum. So slowly but surely, so awesome. we hump along. Hi, love, right here. <laughs> Camel's got tattoos on him. Straight badass! Oh, Good lord. Oh, Keep running into these guys. Well, we keep tying the ropes. We keep tying the ropes on my Oh, man. I'm sure my guy would be just as happy off doing his own thing right now. Yep, all the way up. Yep, stall, stall, stall. Flip. Wow. That's awesome. This is afternoon time, up to the sunset today. They left this area and they're going to do this. So we just left Jordan. We're getting on our flight in Alak to head to Tel Aviv, which is the last stop in Israel for us. So let's go! Woo! So baby, where are we? What are we doing? We are either in Banana or... Actually, no. We're in Gazo's Beach. Okay. Because that's what the chair says. Well, no, I think that's just the name of this place. Oh, well, and I don't know what beach we're, on, we're at, but it's somewhere in Tel Aviv. It's super chill. The sand is, like, so fine. Actually, yeah. It is not like the sand in Miami. Yeah, like, it's actually super soft and not rocky at all. Soft and fun. Um, we just finished talking to a local Israeli who's probably going to be moving to California pretty soon really cool. Best eyelashes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and this is like the chillest beach I've ever been to. We have a cool little spot, little tables. We're waiting for our Jewish beer. And yeah, we're just relaxing on our last day here. True. 